welcome, welcome to the first ever Spiff After Dark. If this goes well, we will do this probably once a month, maybe twice. We'll see what happens. Yeah, that's, that was the kind of idea that we came up with, I think. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, yes. <clears throat> so, our topics today are sex. Sex-like things. <laughs> and astrology. Do they correlate? And are they true? This is what we'll we be investigating. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> yes, first official spiff after dark. Yep. So I thought um, we'd go over quickly what uh, our astrology signs are because I don't know all of them. I only know mine. Yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. And so, um, please note these are the top ones off Google. They are not credited by any means necessary. I was yeah, really tired. This is this general is for uh, fun. research fun. Yes, the power of Google compels you. So, if anyone wants to correct what um, what sign they are, please do. So if so, anything sounds wrong, it's Google's fault. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, it's Google's <laughs> fault, and we'll have Fusion <laughs> correct it. How about that? Um, okay, so if you are a March 21st to April 19th baby, you are an Aries like me. Um, apparently... Yeah. You toast. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. uh, apparently we're very independent and strong-willed. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna deny that. <laughs> you do your best work while you're flying solo? Okay, yeah, a little bit. Um, okay, so between April 20th to May 20th, you are a Taurus. You're a, a quote-unquote wonderful combination of laid-back and hard-working. You're honest and lightly some more like a dog. Uh, occasionally no. to fault. Aww. And then we've got the Geminis. From May 21st to June 20th, um, you get along with a wide variety of people, uh, a bit of a social butterfly, but you will take advantage of some alone time when it comes your way. Ooh. Deeply emotional. Love your rituals and celebrations. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, this will be my last one. Then Everwalkies can do the next few. <laughs> Mama, Mama Spiff is a cancer. So if you're between June 21st and July 22nd, you're downright uncanny. Woo! <laughs> you're best socializing in small groups and prefer intimate relationships, even if it means your social circle is on the smaller side. That is so true. Uh, yeah, that sounds like Mama Smith. Well, that's rude to call your mom a cancer. Like... <laughs> 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 All right, Ever Rockies, would you like to start from the Leos? Leo, it's July 23rd to August 22nd. It's no wonder your symbol is a lion. Your personality and presence are impressive to all. This may intimidate some, but your inviting spirit will help you easily make friends. Your confidence will be an asset to you throughout your life. Yes, me, wow. Dang. My, my, uh, my <clears throat> the second oldest, my sister, is uh, Leo. That, <laughs> nice. that does actually fit her pretty well, actually. <laughs> mm -mm. Next up, we have Virgo. If you were born between August 23rd and September 22nd, you are the picture of poise and elegance. You love to stay organized and have a strong focus on keeping things aesthetic. But you're not just beauty. You've got brains, too. You'll continue seeking knowledge and intellectual growth as you age. Aww. Virgos sound like very down to earth people. Like, oh, mm. what's that one show that was uh, a cleaning show? She was, um, if you don't love it, you toss it. If it doesn't spark joy, the joy lady. Mm. Oh. Um, when you say cleaning show, I instantly thought of hoarders. <laughs> no, I mean, no. yeah, that that kind of that kind of came to mind as well. Actually, no, 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 the other cleaning show. The, sorry, let me uh, clarify. The organization show. 
<laughs> that still brings to mind the Porter shows. <laughs> wow. To be fair. <laughs> All right. Uh, up next, we have Libra. Those born between September 23rd and October 22nd. <clears throat> You have a large social circle, and your open-mindedness helps you to get along with just about anyone. But don't get lost in the crowd. A focus on self-care and personal reflection will help you build your confidence over time. And then last up for me is Scorpio. For those born October 23rd to November 21st. As a Scorpio, you can have a sharp edge, but this isn't always a negative quality. It gives you an appreciation for authenticity and a strong sense of independence. However, you're not always as tough as you appear. Once you let people into your life, you're a bit of a softy. <laughs> <What's cute? Aww. laughs> All right, tell Toast, us. You can, you can take it from uh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, November 22nd to December 21st. The road less traveled is your favorite place to be. Your bravery is admirable and will make you a good fit for leadership roles. You also have a bit of an itch in your shoes and will always be ready to take on a new adventure. Ooh. Ooh. Sounds like one of those people that can't stay in one place. Like they're always bouncing from place to place. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> I don't know. If... <laughs> <laughs> I need to know what my sister's birthdays are so I can get there. <laughs> I did not know your sister's birthday. Um. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I say nothing. <laughs> Anyways, Capricorn, December 22nd to January 19th. <laughs> your perfectionism and high standards, though sometimes an obstacle, can be one of your superpowers when handled wisely. You have a strong sense of self, which enables you to make meaningful connections and lead the way. Aww. Aquarius. Aquarius! Hey. January 20th <laughs> to February 18th. You may fall on the introvert side of the spectrum, but that doesn't mean you don't know how to have fun. You have an in inviolable combination Ideal. of intelligence, yeah, that was an intuition, <laughs> and you are able to identify positive opportunities even in dark times. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, I can kind of see that true. Pisces. Yeah, yeah that sounds like yeah. a fucking toast and ever the rebellious <laughs> ones. <clears throat> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, toast. Continue. Continue. Isa is February 19th to March 20th. You wouldn't hurt a fly. Empathy is your superpower. And you are an asset to any team you join or cause uh, or cause you support. I think there's a punctuation that's supposed to be there. Your gentleness is a virtue. However, be careful to not let your feelings get hurt too easily. Be sure to spend time building your self-confidence. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. So, I don't want to sound like an a-hole, but it sounds like the Pisces <laughs> are the pushovers in this group. Uh, kind of leans towards that, kind of, yeah. The ones that just kind of go with the flow everyone else has going, listen, basically. Okay, listen, Fusion. I know I'm hot-headed. I know I'm stubborn AF. Okay? <laughs> I, I, I know that. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay so we learned a little bit about everything now we know a little bit about everything so gentlemen uh do you think we should go now into um I... what <laughs> what i don't know you're freaking out, you're freaking out. no <laughs> that's just my oh. dog Oh, I didn't know you had a dog. No, I didn't. I lied. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. So we'll go a little bit more. I'll skim through this very quickly. Um, about how each sign 
loosely defines um, how they are in bed. And then we can also check the comparisons after. <laughs> I can burn my ass. Um, Looking at the information off of the uh, the one site. Uh, Astro Glide. I'll meow for you. <laughs> I like that. how that I like how that I like how that site has a whole uh, zodiac and uh, sex related section. That's interesting. Our resident sexologist, Doctor Jess, to help get you started. What a, I want to know if this person actually has a doctorate or just calls himself this. Professor oh sexology. I say, I say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So for Aries, um, are very in charge individuals with strong personalities. This directly correlates mm. to their bedroom persona. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they have a very direct and sh uh, shameless approach. Are less focused on romantic gestures and more about getting physical. I feel so fucking called out right now. <laughs> oh, okay. What's the matter, Spiff? You don't like being called out? I don't like being called out, but it is funny. Um, uh, okay, so turn-ons. Passionate aggression, okay, is the ultimate move to pull on an Aries, okay? They do not appreciate, um, subletity, no, uh, subtle, 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 subtleness, subtle, no, 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 Uh-huh, get, yeah, no, they don't like, um, uh, just directness and being surprised. Competitive in nature. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. Indeed. Routine is nightmare for Aries. They can't stand routine of any form. Same position, same day of the week. You name it. I don't, I don't know about that. I kind of like, I like routine. Oh, I mean, it varies a little bit, obviously. Yeah, yeah, I like routine. I like routine. Uh, Aries, you're compatible with Sagittarius, Leo, Gemini, and Aquarius. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. Okay. So for Taurus, they love a slow seduction in the form of either uh, foreplay, but no game. Interesting. No yeah, but what does no games, like as in like like no goofing around, I guess. Uh, they, they, want, they want it more serious. Basically. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, not one night stands. Okay, that makes more sense now. Once they choose a partner, they are straightforward and uncomplicated, hoping to have old Hollywood movie types of romance in the bedroom. They are a classic love maker. Interesting. All right. Turn ons. Uh, think about what Hollywood has taught us: rose petals, classic romantic music, <laughs> champagne, and a candlelit room. Go deeply into foreplay, stimulate all of the senses, and that will make you feel like the only person in the world. <laughs> hmm. uh, current turn offs are offbeat uh, sexual ventures and. At least at first. So oh, okay, okay. All right. So they might go more into it. Uh, traditional creatures mm. at heart. Compatibility with Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, and Scorpio and Pisces. Hmm. Okay. Basically, okay. they're the kind you have to take take time with. Mm, that slow burn bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> got you. Got you. Got you. <laughs> Mental connection over everything is a key for is key for a Gemini. They love intellectual intimacy. Geminis are, Geminis are very cerebral and verbal people. They have a, they create a sexual conversation of any nature. They are also known to shift attention, so they like to switch it up and keep it interesting to hold their mental focus. <laughs> and turn-ons include... And tell them everything you want to do to them, in detail. Oh my. If you can add wit, all the better. You see the mischievous, mischievous light sparkle up in their eyes, as they are extremely imaginative. Imagine it, I can't speak all this up, excuse me. Spice things up however you can. They'll excite over any curveballs you throw their way. But, turnoffs, repetition, and stage five clingers. It's, it's oh hard. God. 
Yeah, what's a stage <laughs> five clinger? Um, hold, on. hold on, now I need to Google this. Hold on, before we, we to advance. It. Too good to be true. A person typically exceeds all expectations for the first night out together. They buy you drinks when you get water before bed. And even have ready breakfast for you when you get up in the morning. Is there a reason they're no. trying so hard? Okay, okay. <clears throat> Stage 69. <laughs> that, was, that was good, that was good. Uh, okay. Stage 2. <laughs> excessive compliments. When you receive an, I had a great time with you last night. You're such an amazing person. Text directly after leaving your house the next day. But it doesn't stop here. A stage two is someone who goes back and likes all of your old Instagram photos and is you can always count on them to be the first oh, no. beautiful or flame emoji comment on your posts. Too much too soon, man. Okay, yeah, I kind of agree with that. Stage three is persistence. This is where things start to get a little weird. So you try to casually blow them off and make excuses for you not being able to hang out, text back, etc. However, a stage three does not make for no of an answer. They come up with no solutions. Oh, sorry. They come up with solutions for your conflicting schedules and are infamous for sending double and triple tests. Text. Another key characteristic and huge red flag is future plan stages. Three will make, such as beach trips, nights out uh, in Portland, and wait, wait for it, weekend trips to their hometown. SOS. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stage four, ambush. Oh my god, this sounds like a stalker. This doesn't sound like a clinger issue. All right. Uh, you haven't got it to stage five. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> By stage four, you're most likely doing everything you can to avoid this person. However, during this stage, they will likely start showing up place, uh, showing up to places unannounced. They somehow know your work schedule and never fail to stop in to visit when you're stuck behind that counter. They mm -hmm. religiously check your snap stories and uh, can you can always count on them to show up at that party that you RSVP to during in Facebook. Remind me <laughs> what constitutes as stalking, right? Hold it on that oh, one. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Uh, stage five, the last stage emotional outburst. This is an alarming stage because before now, you didn't even realize emotions were much of a factor in this very casual relationship. You'll receive texts, voicemails, and such as, What's been going on? Are we okay? Did I do something wrong? Followed by the over apologetic. I'm really, really sorry. I really like you and I really want this to work. So please message me back. And some <laughs> extreme cases. Hey, I have something for you. I don't know where you've been. So I'll just come by your house and drop it off and hopefully you'll be home. See you soon. I'm sorry. Um, newsflash. Gifts are cool only a few months into a relationship, not during the beginning awkward stages. You're being creepy. Bye bye. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Okay. Well, now we know what the five stages of clinger. Yeah, are. that was some of the some of I'd the like turn off. Say, for, uh, yeah. Yes. I'd like to double it and give it to the next person <laughs> with stage five. <laughs> you want a stage ten? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. What What would you What would you define stage ten and ten as, and what would you call it? Oh my. Cute Jeopardy music. You you brought this in toast. You have to answer this. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? You you said you wanted to double it to ten. What would you name stage ten? And what would you uh, what would be the definition of stage ten? <laughs> Parasocialism. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, that's stage four, wasn't it? Wait, it was one of those earlier so just kind of yeah that we'll, was we'll give more... you time yeah we'll we'll come back to this you better we'll, think we'll give you this. time to think about that what a, what a stage 10 x uh over over clinger would be or maybe even chat can help you with that 
But to finish off with uh, Gemini, Gemini can also be monogamous, monogamous, but need to still feel free. They are compatible with Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Oh. Ooh. Next up, before I hand it off to Toast, is Cancer. For Cancer, think intense and devoted monogamy. They want an emotional relationship, and once they have that with you, they will be an incredibly giving partner. They will easily spot your needs and happily fulfill them for you. Turn-ons include... It's one of the most emotionally passionate signs. Show your cancer they have you and are safe to expose their vulnerable side. In the bedroom, Dr. Jess suggests, trying the sidewinder position for full body contact and the intensity of gazing into one another's eyes. <laughs> Lie face to face on your sides. Throw your up leg over their hip and pull them in close. <clears throat> so they want to be high. burritoed. Basically, yeah. <laughs> Turn offs. Yeah, you know, you like um, cat burritos. Mm hmm. You know, they want no. to be rolled up tight. Turn offs. If you stray from your commitment to them, the intense connection will be broken for them. So just... <laughs> Don't be a dick. <laughs> yeah. Compatibility... Com compatibility... Compatible with Taurus, Virgo, Pisces, and Capricorn. And I, I guess I got the Leo. You got you the Leo, Leo and Virgo. The Virgo. Oh, yeah. Okay. Leo style are natural lovers that will go on pleasing you forever if you give them the recognition they crave. Oh, baby. <laughs> they want to be the star of the show and aren't shy to be extravagant. Turn ons. Leos like to be admired, so position yourself standing in front of a mirror so that you can both sneak a peek <laughs> and play the role of both exhibitionism and voyeurs. Come on. Oh, dear. <laughs> Turn offs. <laughs> Don't try to control a Leo. They need to feel like they are in charge. <laughs> Leo compatibilities are Aries, Gemini, Sagittarius, Libra, and Aquarius. See, see. Mm. Virgin, I mean Virgo. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> they have a traditional sexual personality. They want things to be. They have a traditional sexual personality, these uh, Virgos. They want things to be clean and orderly. They are often the less aggressive partner and will bring sweetness into any relationship. Turn-ons, care a carefully planned love-making session is their bread and butter. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Slow things down and sink deeply into the moment with a Virgo. Let them lie on their back while you explore every square inch of their body except for their hottest spots. Eh, play with teasing and deprivation to build tension, anticipation, arousal, and intensity as you build to that crescendo. Turn-offs, they don't do the dirty and down and dirty. Keep it clean in bed. <laughs> Virgo <laughs> compatibility is Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn, and Libras. So when you say that they don't do the dirty and keep it clean, all I can think about is someone putting like a towel down, and then when they're <laughs> done, they fold up the towel and put it in the laundry. <laughs> That's all I think about. Oh my god. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh hey, I found a level 10 cleaner. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah, there's an actual definition for level 10. Uh, they just keep on texting you and being annoying. Level 5 crank to the maximum yet, basically. Yeah. All right, so then we're going with Libras. With Indeed. refined taste, Libras love a sophisticated and intellectual sexual environment. Okay, how do you have an intellectual sexual environment? Okay. Uh, I don't know, we have to ask a Libra <laughs> themselves. <laughs> yeah. yeah, any Libras in chat, um, what is your definition of an intellectual sexual environment? <laughs> They are open-minded and love to explore erotic experiences. Hmm. Turn-ons. Luxury. <laughs> Luxury. <laughs> Dot. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, Leaper being a sophisticated lover, they will want all the uh, niceties available. Uh, <laughs> this Dr. Jess recommends picking a position that allows you to whisper in their ear. 
moist, moist ears. Ooh, so the shower. <laughs> If they love positive feedback because they love to be pleased, let them know exactly what and how you're feeling. Describe every sensation. Pulse con uh, uh, contract contraction. Jesus Christ, I can read. Uh, drip movement and emotion to take them over the top. Interesting. <laughs> this is the most random turnoff. Camping. What the fuck? <laughs> or roughing it in general. Oh my gosh, is a no go for this partner. They like luxury. Uh, they don't. They, that's mm, not. There's no luxury when you go off road. Bougie, off the bougie. Yeah. They like it yeah, bougie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, their compatibility is with Gemini, Libra, Leo, and Sagittarius. Um, <laughs> glamping. I, okay, maybe, maybe. Glamping. I mean, I, I've never even been camping, let alone oh. camping. What? Yeah, where it's like you're, um, it's like, um, you have like plumbing and all that, like not like a pitch tent. Oh, okay, that was okay, a poor okay. choice of words. Uh, um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, like, you know, gotcha, um, gotcha. or even like those RVs that like have heating and all that in a bed. Yeah, so. yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay. Mm -mm. That makes sense. I've gone Wifey. actual proper camping a long time ago. <laughs> I have never done it. No, I don't like bugs. I guess I mean, I mean I guess it's I'm it's pushed. it's easy to avoid having to dealing with the bugs. It's there's things to do. So listen, really I don't know why I taste so good to mosquitoes, but it, it could be like fall, so do I. and I will still get eaten alive. Is it like your blood type? Isn't it? It could be like oh, maybe. Yeah, I, think, yeah, I, think it's the, I think it's the blood type. Yeah, maybe it just draws them a little bit more. Because I know they they will come after me like on site. And I um, think and if too, they're anywhere near me, yeah. Depending on like your diet, right? Like that certain things, yeah. 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 <laughs> I have okay, a really uh, good deterrent from vampires. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. I just rub all over garlic all over me except for my balls. <laughs> oh no. That's toast, your only weak point. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> like that's where you want them to go. <laughs> <laughs> where you get oh my <laughs> this is all off all, all off you can't go there how, only here how cheeky of you <laughs> uh, oh no the only place you can bite is down here uh -huh. <laughs> oh that feels Whatever like a starry moment <laughs> right? oh, job. the only place you can bite is down here <laughs> oh my god <laughs> No, yeah, oh yeah, maybe maybe that's Toast's thing. I mean, who knows? Wait, wait, what are what are you in Toast again? You're Aquarius. Aquarius. What, Aquarius? Yeah, we got a long ways to go to okay, get to okay. Aquarius. <laughs> we're getting right. there. We're getting there. Sorry. All right, we're getting distracted. Okay. <laughs> all right. So Scorpios, uh, the most dominating zodiac sign. Interesting, and this is reflected in the bedroom. The intensity they come with is an unmatched, along with their never-ending stamina. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> if a Scorpio chooses you, uh, they will create a connection deeper than sex or love. Be ready for that incredible, powerful energy. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, their turn-ons is showing you uh, that you understand them is number one, closely followed by BDSM. And hey, I know that one. Sex. <laughs> <laughs> you guys uh, making me look up that link. I oh, did. yeah. I did. Toast has learned. <laughs> <laughs> Think 50 shades of gray and go from there. Flip the script on Scorpio and tie them up. They can remain in control by giving you directions while simultaneously benefiting from being physically submissive. Uh, turn offs, traditional or vanilla. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> compatibility would be Scorpio, Pisces, Cancers, or Taurus. Do we have any yeah. Scorpios in the chat? Uh, Fusion Scorpios are basically the demons of the bedroom. <laughs> demons of the bedroom. And host, <laughs> are you a, a biter or a bite tea? I like wait, the comment. Wait, Time to find a Scorpio. <laughs> 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 I don't know. <laughs> uh, that greatest question that even scientists can answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Okay. Uh, Everwalkies, <laughs> I will um, pass Sagittarius 
on to you. Alrighty. As for Sagittarius, their style is... As the boldly adventurous type, this fire sign loves anything new and challenging. If there is risk involved, they can't resist and will get it on anywhere at any time. Oh my. Turn on. Challenge them. Ask them to try something they haven't before. Give them the look in a new spot. They are not shy. Play on the balcony or in the backyard, for example. Wait until dark and then start in the shadows, perhaps with the cloth gag to minimize noises. They can stand against the wall or rail to look out the window and hide from behind. <laughs> oh my. Ah, uh, Sagittarius uh, are more like exhibitionists. Got it, got basically, it. Got basically, basically, yeah. Okay. That's, okay. A, that's, that's a good way to describe it. Turnoffs include routines and predictability will be, be the death of uh, Sagittarius' libido. So yeah, they do like uh, the exhibitionism and the uh, excitement. They are hmm. compatible with Aries, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, and Libra. Interesting, interesting. interesting. All right. Your mom is a Sagittarius. I see, I see. <laughs> well, now you know something interesting, then. <laughs> you have learned something. <clears throat> Next up, we have Capricorn. Work hard, play harder. If you can tear them away from work, their ambitious mentality comes with them to bed. They will work tirelessly to make sure you are completely satisfied. Capricorn is one of the most dedicated lovers. Turn-ons. If you have the patience to coax them into a sexual experience, they will melt for you. Planned sex dates packed with all the elements of a romantic night are gold with the Capricorn. Traumatized, oh no. <laughs> <clears throat> Turn-offs. Surprises? Absolutely not. They are not into spontaneous sex. Interesting. Good, good to know, good to know. And they are compatible with a Taurus, a Virgo, and a Cancer. Interesting. I like spontaneous sex. Well, I mean, you're not a Capricorn. I know, but I'm just saying. Never mind. Don't be involved with a Capricorn, then. <laughs> that basically is what that says, then. <laughs> basically is what you're saying. <laughs> Toast, do you want to do uh, yours and your, your brother from another mother's? I like how much this actually calls me out. <laughs> <laughs> Now, while a little reserved in their commitment, this sign can be heavily lustful if you catch their attention. Yeah, Sally. <laughs> they love on outside the box personality and to see how that mentality can be highlighted during sex. Keep them guessing, they will keep coming back for more. Turn ons, uniqueness. Yeah, I actually like that, actually. <laughs> These lovers will always be fond of the eccentric styles and the allies of ideas. Break the rules be by trying something new. If you usually have PV intercourse, huh? Uh, I'm assuming that's penis and vagina. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, bye. <laughs> Experiment with pegging. If you usually have oral, play with penetration, perhaps in the back door, and if anal, use your <laughs> usual routine. Change things up and try oral in the shower. Turn off. Uh -huh. Conventional sex and containment will have your Aquarius feeling claustrophobic and uninterested. Aww, hmm. we uninterested and claustrophobic. That's interesting. I actually don't have claustrophobic. I don't get that. <laughs> we don't. We don't like conventional. Yeah, they are compatible with Gemini, Sagittarius, Leo, Leo, and Aries. I, I as an Aquarius, I, I. Hmm. <clears throat> Slobbing their knob. <laughs> oh my I gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that was good. Sorry, that's so funny. Um, uh, interesting, interesting. That, that's all I'm going to say about uh, the uh, that, that one right there for sure. Hmm. Hydration. All right, everybody. Uh, we, gotta we gotta hydrate after that one. Uh, yeah, it's getting a little too spicy up in here. Uh, but, I, um, like I, 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 I have to agree with a lot of what the Aquarius one says, uh, yeah. <laughs> interesting, interesting. All right, Toast, finish us off with the Pisces. I don't know if I can do that, like, I haven't met one yet. Yeah, are you <laughs> sure we want? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
my god. Okay, the style of having a talent for empathy combined with their emotional personality, Pisces lovers will have you feeling things you never have before. They are very open to things in bed and will pay close attention to how everything pleasures their partner. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Creating a euphoric and magical right, experience. <laughs> Turn ons, show a, a Pisces just how much you love something they did. <laughs> Encouragement uh, leads to more magic with them. Uh, Turn offs don't contain your reactions or how you feel. Acting reserved would be like taking a cold shower for them. Aww. Pisces compatibility, Scorpio, Taurus, and Capricorn. Basically, let them know what you're liking and how you're liking it. That makes sense. That's nice. <laughs> All right. So, there is the ultimate matchup. Uh, the best match <laughs> for Aries would be Sagittarius, as their matchup is known to be very primal in nature. Having dramatic and almost maddening passion experience. Their sex sections always adventurous and stimulating as both can't stand routine or boredom. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Some ultimate matchups. Oh my. A Scorpio and Scorpio. Powerful and intense. The only worthy match of a sexual partner for a Scorpio is another Scorpio. Think of the darkest darkest depths passion can have. A Scorpio couple will take it further. When they have come together, it is a storm of devotion and ecstasy which leads to powerful sexual chemistry. Think of the smutty and sultry vampire books full of undying passion and dark erotic fantasies. Oh my. You know what? If that happens, I don't think I'm going to go in that bedroom. I don't want to see all this milk that starts pouring out. <laughs> 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 It'll be like that room from the sh uh, that scene from The Shining, uh, oh, no. uh, all that blood comes out of the elevator. Well, we place that with a uh, <laughs> semen. Oh, jeez. <laughs> nice. Well uh... All right. And Toasty, you can read the Capricorn and Virgo combo. Ooh. These earth signs match in energy as they will only fully submerge in sex when they are with a worthy partner. But when they do, it is unleashing. Oh. <laughs> and both give all their energy to please and be up. Why are you making when, these moves? When these two find one another and put down their shields, fireworks of fashion. Oh. We'll be exploding all night long, huh? I am! Ah, <laughs> oh, we're killing Spiff. <laughs> I mean, you know this was a risk when we were both going to be on the channel. Uh, so this is true. <laughs> oh my god. Pisces and Cancer, deep connection. As lovers, they are both extremely dedicated to a deep connection and pleasing each other. Pisces are true in tune with their most carnal fantasies, uh, while Cancer loves divine natural aspects of lovemaking. Uh, taking this pair to such a primitive level emotionally and physically, uh, they will have a hard time coming out of their own sensual world. Oh my. So pretty much everyone else dies in the background. So they're yep. like rom-com to me. That's, that yeah, sounds yeah, like yeah. rom-com. That, that, that sounds like that, yeah. yeah. Well, oh. uh, rom-com edgy. Yeah, Bordering yeah. on hentai there, yeah. yeah. They only see each other. Once once they get going, no, nothing else exists. So to me, that would be the closest thing, I guess, Fifty Shades of Grey. Maybe kind of. Not, I mean, I haven't I seen it or read it. Well, I, wouldn't say, I wouldn't say exactly, but kind of going towards that way a little bit, I suppose. Mm -hmm. A fair number of elements of it, at least. But yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Next up, we have Gemini and Leo, Ecstasy and Cerebral. As they both crave a mental connection, these two have a cerebral understanding that will scorch the bedroom. A Leo will know exactly what to say to ignite a fire in a Gemini, and a Gemini, being extremely seductive, will artfully voice all the motivation and flattery a Leo needs to put on the show of a lifetime. These signs are very hard-working lovers when they have the attention of the other, which leads to a powerful explosion of sexual expression. Oh my. Ooh la la. 
<laughs> All I can think of is my... What's that fucking thing? The ding dong day. Oh no. It's my shot not la. Yes! <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, oh my god. Okay. Uh, Toast, do you want to do Aquarius and Libra? Yep, they're both flirtation and experimental. Two air signs pairing up for a sexual escapade is ideal. If not the perfect match, their partnership will be a centric experimental and elegantly executed between the tasteful expressive style of a libra and the innovative aquarius they will never have a sex with and will always be anticipating new and sexy surprise at every encounter all right so lastly we have taurus and virgo intertwined foreplay Ooh. so we have slow and steady will win the race as these two are a slow burn match i was gonna i've read my brain read that as something else. And I'm like, That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Uh, they will lay a foundation first with plenty of foreplay and heated conversations to decide what they want to do once they warm up to each other. Uh, that Burns' desire between them is reinforced by all the time they spent preparing and the sexual energy will reach so deeply and completely. This pair will be seamlessly intertwined in bed and stop only when they are both thoroughly satisfied. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Huh. Oh, okay. okay. Interesting, interesting. Uh, you know what? I actually really like this was a really good website. Yeah. Um chat if you wanna see or if you missed anything, this is the website. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> meow. Meow. <laughs> so I thought of a game. Chat, you oh. can partake as well if you want to. Oh no. I think this is gonna be good. I think this is gonna be good. So the game is we're each gonna pick a pose from this BuzzFeed. Um, 20, 20 best common sex positions. So the point of the game is once we pick one, we have to try and explain the pose without saying the name. And um, we have to try and guess which one it is. So. I know which one Spiffs chose. Mm, you want me really? to tell you? No, I have to try and... You're gonna have to try and guess which one it is. Yeah, I already know which one it is. What if someone you're doesn't me. know sex positions? That's why I posted that URL link. That link right there for BuzzFeed, yep. The BuzzFeed one. That's what <laughs> we're using all, as a reference. It makes it even better because they're all stick figure drawings. They're, yeah, they're all <laughs> stick figures. You won't get in trouble. I promise. Some of the names for some of these ones. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Oh. <clears throat> okay. I can't. <clears throat> I. I, I That's mine. All right. So I'll go first to try and help make this make sense. And then we'll go from there. Okay. 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 <laughs> so in this position, it does require you both to be laying down on a flat surface. Yippee! All right. Yippee! Yippee! <laughs> okay. So for this one, you have to be laying down. And uh, it requires two people. Well, duh. <laughs> All of these require two people. So, I mean, well, I I mean, some of these you could have. Well, um, true. You know. You know, the yeah, standing yeah, yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> yeah. Um, in this position, one person's legs will be shaped like a V. Mm. Um, <laughs> it works best for people who like to be on the bottom. 
as yeah, well. I think I know which one. <laughs> as well, you should be a bit flexible. Oh, hey. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. The way they have drawn this position, I personally would have had someone else's legs in a different position. Are we looking at the magic bullets? Holy shit! How did you get that right? Oh. <laughs> yes, we are talking about the sexy times. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Well, yes, it, I guess right. Nice. <laughs> good job, good job. Okay. I mean, I understand uh, the I understand the leg position, why it's why its feasibility is only one. I understand what they mean by that. I what I think is interesting though is that I like the score of 10 for impressiveness. So this is the position chat that I picked. I personally have the person that is doing the pegging. I would have had the legs um the opposite way like going towards the person that you're pegging, not behind. So I feel that would be less. Range legs like, oh, accordingly. Okay. Yeah, I, like yeah the, I guess. I like, the, I, like the, I like the description there. <laughs> so well, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. That's why the whole. That's why the ankles are. You're holding ankles apart for support. You're doing a, 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 a bit of a tripod type thing going on here. I just like the the, the rating for it. Feasibility <laughs> one out of ten. <laughs> well, I mean. The way it's drawn is not exactly drawn very well. What they're wanting you to do, basically. Well, it'll be kind of hard to do on the fledge, but if you're, if you're doing that on the floor specifically, that requires a lot of flexibility. Mm -hmm. But if you're doing like using, like basically from like, say you're using the edge of the bed, the person doing the uh, the thrusting would be putting their legs way, you know, backwards and kind of bending their body in a kind of a V shape kind of sort of, I guess you could say. Yeah, yeah. All right, um, Toast, do you have yours picked out? Yeah, Brian, you mean you don't want to break your hips to do that? <laughs> All yeah. right, Toast, why don't we switch things up and let you go next? Okay, so mine requires two people. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> uh... He will require some poise. <laughs> okay. A lot. Uh. It involves someone being a chair. <laughs> oh. Is it um chair. number thirteen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. It's a, uh, oh yeah, that's definitely going to be where, so that's going to split me, daddy. That's going to yes. beat up your legs pretty good. It's <laughs> a good angle, but requires some serious boys. Boys. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see, I see. Okay, chat. This is what, uh, Toast picked. Thank you for the pokes. <laughs> That's that looks like your chest is going to be there, <laughs> Smith. It is. I, I strategically ah. posted it there. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I'm just trying to think how this would work. <laughs> I don't know why they're poking. It does look like they're poking their eyes out. <laughs> you must not see. <laughs> you can't see me doing it in this style. Like, don't look at me. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. All right, Everwalkie, is your turn. Oh, now, now I have to pick one. Okay. Oh, why was that one yours? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I thought you already had one then. I, there's one. I'm uh, one that's too. Uh... Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> ah, this this one this one. okay. I'm trying to think of how to describe it without giving it away. Instantly. Does it require two people? It does <laughs> indeed require two people. But <laughs> Swift's never gonna let this one down. 
This doesn't. This does require two people because they're they're. You're not doing this position without a second person. This is absolutely 100% fact. It's impossible because you need the other person for this to work. But anyways, but this inqu inquires. Um, uh, you need some. You need some strength for this one. Preferably a, a firm surface to work with. Oh, hold on. Is it number six, the notebook, or the Ryan Gosling? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. uh, the fe fe feasibility, 1.5. Impressiveness, 10. Romanticness, 9. Comments, it's so romantic, but unless the lifter is a bodybuilder and the lifty is generally tiny, the latter person might feel a little weight conscious, which is true, which is true. Oh, that's funny. No, but no, yeah, it's yeah. the whole, it's the whole, like, you, you get picked up and, like, thrown on the wall kind of scenario. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this one. <laughs> Hold each other because gravity, I just... <laughs> I like the description, yeah. <laughs> that's beautiful, that's beautiful. Uh... I don't know. I would I would feel so bad if I broke someone's back. I'd be like, no, nah, not worth it. Not worth it. I mean, that okay. is a... Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... I know which one I'm picking. This one, you can Round do two. with two people. Does not require a second person. Mm, I see, I see. Okay. Um... You must have good leg strength Ooh. and center of gravity. Is that the? Is that the the squatting one, basically? Yes. Number number eight. Yep, it is. Mm -hmm. It is. It is the squatter. <laughs> I like the comments. Bottoms are chilling while toppers get a great thigh workout. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. There you are, chat. I had an excellent thigh workout. Ooh -wit, ooh -wit. I mean, that would be true. Ooh -wit, ooh -wit. So, one person is uh, watching TV. <laughs> mm, okay, okay. And the other person's uh in Oh bed. well you 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 why did you say watching TV? It's a reverse cowgirl. <laughs> <laughs> classic a classic. See it, <laughs> I like it's... I like the comments on it. Extra points because you don't have to look good, only look good from behind. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I find that though it's not intimate at all. Yeah. It's like I don't know. It I would prefer a modified version of that, I think. There's a uh, That's called missionary. <laughs> no, it's not, but anyway. I would yeah. No. You're not it's, you're still maintaining a sitting position, except you're not the other oh, person. Oh, I wouldn't. Down. That's, that's too much work. I was not. Anyway. I say, I would Literally, say. Literally, the person laying down sits up instead of laying, instead of laying down. That's, that's the yeah, only I, I, difference. I'm just saying. There's more physical contact. That's weird. Why is watching TV the requirement? Couldn't be playing video games while you're doing This is true. I mean... Okay. I mean... Go ahead. Say it. Say something. You have something to say about that. I do. Do. So... Back in college days... Mm, okay, okay. Yeah. Um... It's so slow. I knew it. <laughs> no, no, it's just, um, I ended up finding someone that literally lived like two blocks away and it made it very easy to just 
get her done, and then go home. Mm -hmm. So, but the one thing was they were, I, I wouldn't even call them a gamer. They were, they were just like to be on the PC. Yeah, and I, I would that, get I really, really annoyed when I didn't get attention. So I would just hide under the desk and just... And the end of bread. And then be done and go home. <laughs> so I, I get what you mean about the whole playing very video games fusion. I get that. Ah. Mm -hmm. So Spiff's like doing it under the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I was also like... 12 years younger, so it wasn't an issue back then. <laughs> but I'm under desk. You're speaking like you're 40 years old, Spit. <laughs> uh, some 40 year olds are much better shape than me, just saying. So, <laughs> but uh, sorry, ever, ever pick your what was yours? Oh my goodness, anyway, let's see, let's see. Ah, uh, this is this is a classic one that I like. It's nice and cozy, we'll just say. And yes, it requires two people, although you could do stuff by yourself, but then you're... I think ah, that's suppose... masturbation. I mean, <laughs> I mean, this position can be done in such a way where you're doing stuff by yourself, of course, but better with another person. <laughs> yeah, boy. But yes, it is a very, a very comfy, cozy position. Hmm... Is it's, it it's... the speed bump? No. Um. Oh, we got a guess uh, in chat that is uh, that is correct. Number nine. What number was nine. number nine? Oh, Spoony. Oh, oh, because you said I, I, cozy. I, uh... Oh. I mean, it is. Yeah, you know, you're just you're laying in bed. And just... No, that's no, no, no. Up. No, Actually, I'm, no, I'm no. Like, aerial view. Like... So it's like yeah, you're uh, on a bed. Yeah. Uh, I like the I like the comment there. Extra points for a good angle. Secret sex under the covers, am I right? Also, I do for lazy people who still want to get really into it. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. It's like you just could wake up with a boner and then, you know, it's just poking you in the morning. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I know it hasn't worked for these fine gentlemen with me but i know i have woken up with a partner and just something poking me in the ass and i'm like what and they're like yeah, yeah sorry and i'm like okay and then you try to go back to sleep and it's all like well i mean since we're both up and i'm just like i just want to go back to bed. I, I i'm guilty of that when i was younger <laughs> i will admit to that yeah, the, like, the, well, the I'm, pitch I'm, 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 a, I'm awake, he's awake, you know, stay, you know, it, it... Emotional, damn it! Mm. Maybe. Mm. Mm -hmm. yep. Sadly, yeah. I haven't discovered that. <laughs> well, I'm not no. high leveled enough. <laughs> no, no, but like, I'm, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but I'm sure you've woken up with morning wood. M most individuals they yeah, but every, every male certainly has i haven't uh woken up to one poking me in the butt or no, no. i mean i'm not saying it had to be the poking in the butt i'm just saying but you know when you wake up right and then that's when you're like yeah. hmm hmm yeah this needs to be dealt with it needs to be dealt with right now that's kind of work. W woke up ready to go yeah oh no i just crack it like a glow stick <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my god! Why would you say that? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I like no. how chats. No! No! <laughs> god, no. You broke Ryan! Yeah. <laughs> you oh, broke Paul! <laughs> oh, screw it. Oh my god. Hey. There's there's two positions I I I would pick, but they're kind of okay, hard to hard hard to describe without it being uh, obvious as to what they are. You, that's the whole point of the game, though. You're supposed to get creative. 
All right, well, I I'm sure I can. There we I go. Try. I'm, I'm bonking toast for you. <laughs> I'll let you have the one that I think you're thinking of. But, um... This one doesn't necessarily have to take two people, depending on the type of vibrator you have. Okay. Um... It is a lot easier with two people. Uh, sometimes, um, you may find a little bit of neck pain in this position. Uh. If you, you don't have, um, yourself in a proper position. Is it number four? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Number four? Propped up Propped on a pillow. Up on pillow. Ah, okay. I personally think that's one of the more comfortable ones, but that's just me. <laughs> the fusion joke. <laughs> what do you call a really pissed off rooster? A raging <laughs> I need uh, to find something goodness. that'll work with a TTS. Yeah. So I find if you just, um, you get the right angle, right? <laughs> Make gravity work for it, man. Work smarter, not harder. I that impressiveness. Clever. Comments. Extra points because it's good for osteoporosis. <laughs> this maneuver is as creative as it is comfortable. It also proves you don't have to put your back out for great sex. Yeah. Fair. fair. This is fair. Fair and true. <laughs> All right, toast. All right, I'm marking down the numbers as we go. Very kinky. So this is very kinky position. <laughs> you might get wrapped up in it. <laughs> mm. His legs not bending the right way. <laughs> Two hours later. You might go over the head a bit. Oh! This is, um, the legs over shoulders with knees bent? Yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, trying to think of a way to describe this one that doesn't give it away immediately. <laughs> <laughs> is it 69? No. Dang. <laughs> I'll give it, I'll give it knees. I'll make, I'll, I'll make it, give one, give one freebie. It's not that one. No, no, no. You had something to say. No, no, no. No, 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 no. It's not that I have something to say. I think I know how to do certain things now. Like indescriptive words without giving it away. <laughs> I need to clarify what I'm going to say. I was going to say, wait a minute. <laughs> <clears throat> but, um... Uh, let's see. This this position gives you a nice, uh, a nice, a very nice view and uh, the ability to get a nice handle on certain things. Uh, Depends doggy on, style. Uh, you are correct. When you say <laughs> handle, all I think of is hair. <laughs> that was one of one of two things I meant by that, yes. Woo! Yeah, baby! <laughs> Either hair or a nice handle on the hips. I mean, I know there's a lot of people <laughs> that actually find um great satisfaction in teaching others i think it's if you just have like a good mindset and it's all about communication oh yeah oh yeah That's absolutely 100 communication is the most important thing mm -hmm. okay so i'm gonna try and make this hard because i think we're running out of we're almost done with this I nice for you one shh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> this position can be done with or without props. Mm. And it can be a solo or with a person. Oh. If you're going to use without a person, you will mm. need a minimum of two objects. Are we speaking of a fancy way of doing uh, 
Number 12 on the list. Yes. <laughs> that was a very creative way of describing I, how I, you were 69 with and without a partner. That was that was good. That was good. Well, because because if you think about it, you can. You made, like, that was that was cre that was really creative and good. Yes. Right. So for like the 69, right, you can get either a uh, VJJ or a uh, Dingaling. Um, for either, either one, right? You just need one of each or two of each, depending on what your preference is. Indeed. So no, you did, you did, you did, you did, you did that very well for sure. I thought that, that was extremely that was, clever. That was good. That was good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was that was good. <laughs> she's she's got us beat on that toast with the description and uh, not giving it away instantly. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I was lost. <laughs> oh, okay. that's okay. Like I kind of you gave you gave it you gave a tip off beforehand by saying how you had to come up with a way to describe something. Well, because I was gonna but go, I was gonna go with a different number. Yeah. But then I thought no, because that'll no. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to actually think about that every time. Is she describing this one or no? I'm not sure. But yeah, that was good. That was good. But yeah, you're you're not wrong. You're not wrong. And Toasty, you are up for the next one. So this one involves two people. <laughs> We've done half the math. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and a wall. <laughs> oh, uh, sixteen. Yeah. Why would you say, and a wall? There's a wall right there. there you, don't have to say, you, don't, you don't have to say a wall. You could have said, like, um, uh, you know, can be optimized with accessories. Like what accessories are there, huh? It's right there, like handcuffs. Hmm. You know? Handcuffs? Uh, We're standing up? Or you could have... You could have put uh, horny porn movie scenes. I mean, yeah, that's right. <laughs> right? I, here was, or, here's um, the comment for this one. Adventurous in conception, I guess, but so many factors would make this not work anatomically. One, leg heights. Two, torso heights. Three, overall coordination from these heights disparities. Basically, avoid even attempting this if both parties aren't the exact same height. <laughs> yeah, that kind of sucks for me. <laughs> I'm 6'2". I yeah, mean, that would make things that would make things a little difficult. Difficult, but then you'd be more inclined to doing. True, props. Right? I don't props. think my finger down there has enough muscle to hold up the. <laughs> no, woman. no, 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 no. Um. Uh, you like this is where like you can use household items like a stepping stool, or um like a little uh you know like the painting like three three step stool thing well, you know yeah yeah yeah. Ladder, like the ladder. Yeah, yeah 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 like some, something to get the other person to to level out the height difference exactly exactly but see that only helps part of it though that's like that that does help part of it but there's also the disparity of like different body types the way your body is because mm. mm -mm. that can also just height alone may not be enough mm. but that would even things out a bit so it's still making it more feasible but yeah there are ways to make things work, regardless of height differences and all that. Mm -mm. Absolutely. You just have to oh, be a little creative. Jesus, fuck! What? <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Alright, Everwalkies, yeah, it's your turn. No, there is a lot. This is, okay. This is a particular position that people like to go on about and, uh, Always thinks it's going to be amazing, but is it never quite live? Never quite lives up to the expectation. It's it's still fun, but it's not as good as like you know, as you would read about in a particular novel or like see in a movie, for instance. They always make it look far better than it actually is. Does it involve them going about to bow wow? <laughs> it's the shower scene. Yes, oh. you made that way too easy. <laughs> Hey, Nabbit, I think that was... 
I was going to do that one. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I like how I was able to to We've decipher that now. through my uh, getting water. I knew exactly right away. I was running back. I was like, I know which one it is. I know which one it is. <laughs> Fair, 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 fair. Yeah, it's so it's such a like a, a a risk for for falls. Yeah, there's a slipping risk. Mm -hmm. I like the I like the comment. Bonus points for no cleanup and feeling cleaner after you do the dirty. Minus points for it being dangerous. Water gets everywhere and hard to find good props to hold you. Too slippery, too small. Okay, so this position does require two people. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, I know. Crazy, right? Um, it will require you to be facing in opposite directions of one another. This might seem a bit more intimate. Is it number two? Dang it. <laughs> that was good. It was really good. Wait, no, wait, no. They're facing towards each other on that, though. Not away from each other. No, no, no. Like, a, uh... That's not what I said, away from each other. I said in, uh... Opposite directions. So, one yeah. can face one way and one can face the other way. Like, you're not oh, well, spooning. That was, that was confusing to me, otherwise I would've got that. Uh, I probably would've guessed that one. But okay, okay. I was thinking that one until you said that, and I'm like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. Well, I do like I, I do like the comment from that one. You're super close without feeling gross. What is more romantic than having sex while hugging? <laughs> I I didn't want to use the word hug because then it just boils it down. So I was like, hmm, how do I, how do I, how do I reword this? Yeah. So I like that. Hold each other for stability and love. Face <laughs> <laughs> yeah. to face. All right, Toaster. We're getting down to the wire. Down well, to the last it's few. very comfy. <laughs> okay. It's one of the greatest moves that has a great back. Are we referring to number one? Sex in a chair. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the great back support. <laughs> Yo, Staring yeah. into each That's... other's souls and comfy. <laughs> I, I think it depends on the chair, though. Yeah, that's true. Cause you ain't doing it... that. You ain't doing that in a gamer chair. Right. That's exactly where my mind went. And <laughs> the... I don't know. It could work. It won't be very comfortable, though, because someone has to, unless you don't have arms on the chair, right? Because otherwise, then you have to... I'll make it work. <laughs> I'll buy. All right, Toast. You you go in. Um, I'll, I'll send you an inflatable doll. You can <laughs> physically show me on the chair how you would make it work. Why are you running? Okay. Why are you Get me right. straight for the classroom now. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh no, there's only so many left. I know, this is getting so hard. Alright, uh... <laughs> just quickly remove the chair arms. Uh... I mean, if you have certain, certain chairs, the arms do fold up. I'm so... not condoning them. I am just trying to give Toast some realistic expectations here. I'm, I'm not condoning Toast at all. Hmm, I'll have? make it work. <laughs> What See, I love there. that tenacity. You go, Toast. <laughs> oh. It might be a little hard, though, but in the hand. Oh, no. What did I do? Oh, there it is. Okay. Which one is this? Okay. We haven't done this one yet. Um, This one requires two people or a particular prop, I suppose, if you're... Uh... Like a piece of... The one doing thrusting, I suppose. There's there's props that can there's there's things that can be bought for certain toys that can be bought for that, but anyway, to replace the a person. But uh yeah, this is it's pretty pretty straightforward. You're making is use it? of something, but you're on the you, go ahead. 
14? Yes, it is. One person on a bed, one person standing. Mm -hmm. Using the using the edge of the bed there. And I back comments. You just turned your boring bedroom into one big sex prop. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if um anyone's I ever have... seen them. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to Google them and find them now. Wow. It's um like these custom wooden bed frames that have mm. um secret not secret, very decorative um on the bed posts so you can like use it as uh straps and restraints oh, okay. but it doesn't look like that it's, uh, okay it's so I got pretty it's yeah, so yeah 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 but... gotcha gotcha nicely done nice nicely done all right um Oh, that one makes me laugh. Okay. We have five left. This has definitely oh, been a very interesting and unique stream for sure. I'm but surprised the, but we haven't done this yet. Okay, so... Cow, no. No. Oh, dang. Well, then, uh, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you can guess twice. We'll Sheesh. do two. Sheesh! <laughs> Sorry, that just kills me. <laughs> Um, so this does require two people. <laughs> um, definitely need to figure out limbs. And... I know which one it is. Um... It, it, yeah, which one is it then? Number 20, Saddle. Fuck! <laughs> Got it. I, I like the comment. Feels great, but you'll need a GPS to direct all those limbs. <laughs> I feel like that one's similar to another one. It's a ver it's variations on similar poses. That's mm. part of the idea. Like it's it's where where you're putting where your arms and legs and everything are like where how you're positioning yourself. Because that requires like crisscrossing legs and mm -mm -mm. Your body angling certain ways. Yeah, it does make it a bit. <laughs> that certainly makes it a bit difficult doing that because yeah, yeah. So sure when there's if there's extra motion going on, you got your legs crossed and mixed together, and trying to do all kinds of things. The extremitals. Mm -hmm. All right, <laughs> toast. Hmm. You are up, and we have four left, I think. <laughs> if you need a reference of which ones we already looked at, I've got all the numbers listed in the uh, the group chat. Well, it's optional. Something's optional. The staring is optional. One, uh, it looks like a ninety degree angle. No, yeah, but yeah. Wait, we are right now? No. I picked that one. I don't think we have. I did that one. I, was, I mentioned that it gives you a good view and uh, nice, nice things to ha to get a handle on. When did we do that? <laughs> We've covered most of the list already. It's getting a little harder to keep track of the ones. This <laughs> is giving it away, yeah. You did guess yeah, that is true, Fusion. You did. Points points to Fusion for that. You did guess correctly. It's so, well instead of guessing do instead of guessing, do we want to just uh show and describe the uh, the remaining ones? Because it's gonna Spiff is muted. Oh on my Banana bread. god. <laughs> of course I am. Well, anyways, no, I yeah, it, I uh all I said was it's like a exercise. You can do it solo, it would be very difficult. God damn I like the it. comment for this one. Your entire body is repressed tightly together, like layers of a of a bean dip. This is as physically close to someone as you can get. 
a little picture there. Optimal for face kisses. Smoothies. <laughs> that was number seven. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, we've uh, we've covered most of them now. So. Mm -mm. Okay. So, what did you want us to do? Just describe them. Just kind of show off the last few. There's only three left because okay. it's just be be silly trying to do a little guessing thing. There's only so many left. So ten. So go from the top of the from the top of the list down. Oh yeah. So number seventeen. <laughs> Missionary. Oh, you're starting from the seventeen. Okay, sorry, sorry. Yeah, starting from a twenty going down, just like from the top of the page. Oh, that was cowgirl. All right, that. Um, yes, a coil classic and everyone's go-to, but that does not make it any less boring. Plus, the chin angles are not flattering for either part. <laughs> I find. I find it interesting. Yes, I agree. It will not make chins any any less or any more interesting. Yeah, it's it's. If you're worried about the way your face looks, or if you're like if you're like neck or chin rolls, like this, just no one's gonna look flattering doing this one. But but you're not. You shouldn't be worried. You shouldn't, you're not supposed to be worried about that. But yeah. To be fair, when you are in this position, why would you be looking at their eyes? I would be grabbing titties. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm just <laughs> I have, saying. I have to I'm agree. just saying. I concur. Yeah. There's plenty of other things that you can be looking at and uh, reaching out for. Okay. Oh my god, this one. I like the comments they put in these fucking bubbles. They kill me. <laughs> I know. They're so, they're so good. Number 15. Is the tip? King <laughs> <laughs> no! Never ask this when you're being intimate with somebody. What do you want to do for dinner? <laughs> that would dry me up like a Sahara desert. The speed bump. Okay. It can be difficult to coordinate and move around freely, but if accomplished, it is a uniquely awesome sensation. All right, I'll give him that, I'll give him that. Uh, and then... Uh, number, oh. number 10, I think, yeah. Yeah, just missionary. Good old I woke classic. Up. I, I like woke that. up like this. Oh, woke up like this. Boobies! <laughs> <laughs> Best way to motorboat. <laughs> I got the comments. Extra points because it's classic. Boat? <laughs> um, when you put your face in between two beautiful bosoms and blow and shake your head in them. Yes. Like, um, the same thing, like, with a kid. Have you ever, like, blown raspberry kisses on their tummy? It's like the yeah. same thing. It's, it's like doing that, Just, but adult style. Yeah, with boobies. Oh, why would that be called a motorboat? Because you make it sound um, like a motor for a boat. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why you get your um, face between the boobies? Um, I probably shouldn't do this, but I'm going to. I really don't care. What are you doing? I'm gonna try and find a motorboat sound. <laughs> uh, motorboat. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, we couldn't find that sound. Uh, I didn't know if you gentlemen uh, would want to join me again to do this, but I was also thinking of, of maybe course. one time. We could all take like a quiz. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then bring up our results. Oh, that's a sum quiz. <laughs> yeah, be... yeah. I mean, there's there's op there's many 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 options for that. Yeah. Wait, I, I think I already shared mine on though. You did, but there's different types you, we can pick. You kind of did, oh. yeah. You shared it partially, and while you were laughing your ass off in the background, and then going, oh what? yeah, and then <laughs> putting oh, yeah. water waterfall sounds, making us all have to pee. <laughs> ah yeah i remember that so yeah if you got any ideas for like another another episode of the podcast let us let us know and we will uh, look into it for another for the next podcast for sure i'm definitely i'm definitely down for doing this more okay toast toast did you have a good time did you have fun yeah good 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 i like how okay, toast ins can... inspired this <laughs> i did i said you did it! This was all during my my addiction to the Suica games. 
And yep. it was I will I will have to give credit to uh, both Toast and Fusion because Fusion mm -hmm. kind of kicked it off a little bit by getting Toast to go look at something. And then we just kind of exacerbated by going, yeah, go go now go look at this, go look this up. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. And I think I clipped to um the one moment where you where you were like baseball what does baseball have to do about this <laughs> I, 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 I hate myself laughing so hard <laughs> it was beautiful it was so beautiful oh my gosh well, okay definitely. can i just say something you of can course. say whatever you want i i thought this was gonna take us longer but we i, I think we did good time controversial yeah. opinion boobs oh. or butts oh Mm. Okay. I... To answer that question for me without me even saying anything, obviously. But anyways, <sighs> he uh, Everwalkies is uh, a butt man. <laughs> Everwalkies does love his booties. Um, for me it depends. So, I mean, I have my own knockers and they kill my back. It doesn't mean I don't appreciate a good set of knockers. Ooh. Um, but a very defined booty is also very nice. Yes, thighs. The universe gave us big thighs to hold more kittens and puppies. I believe that 100%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go with that answer. <laughs> a, good, a, good, a good lap pillow is a good lap pillow, that's for sure. Mm, true, 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 true. I, I can't complain about that either. The only problem is, though, if the lap pillow is too hard... <laughs> um, it does make it a little uncomfortable. Thick thighs yes. save lives. Yeah. Or a death cause death. Like, I mean, crush people's they give, face. They with give, them. they give and they take. <laughs> oh my. Oh, I, I'm so disappointed. Why did I put coffee on the coffee table? I, I should have put like little ding dongs. Thanks for watching. Make sure to stay till the end to see our outro bloopers as well. Don't forget to give Toast and Neverwalk a sub over on YouTube. Bye bye Lights off and signing out. This is Spiff After Dark with Everwalk, Toast, and Spiff. Until next time, we're turning the lights off. Like I said, this is podcast number one, so this is the pilot, official pilot. Yeah, well, yeah we're doing board. a pilot. Pilot. And, um... Yeah, we'll we'll talk about different things, not just dirty things. Um, and if there's something specific you guys want to <laughs> talk about, just let us know. We'll make suggestions. We'll figure out how how to end. Biff after dark. I'm your co-host Toasty Bread, turning the lights out and getting ready to snuggle. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my god, I love it. Thanks for tuning in to After Dark uh, News. I'm your host, Toasty Bread, with my co-host, Evrock. Hey. And our <laughs> lovely assistant, Spiff. <laughs> Hi, thank you. Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> sparkles. I don't know why it keeps throwing shit at me when I use my sparkles, but whatever. <laughs>